Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we built a functioning apartment building right here, which houses all of the villagers you see in front of us, and is pretty heavily guarded by the golems, which like to walk through the lobby here. <laughs> you can see some strolling in there. They like to walk around the outside here. And yeah, we got golems pretty much defending this entire apartment complex, which is good because we now have two of them. So we've actually made a second apartment complex, exactly the same as the first. Uh, down to the branding on the side of the building with the CC for Concorp. Uh, and, yeah, if we go on and go inside here, you can see we got a nice little Concorp logo there. And if we make our way up here, yeah, you can see we have some beds in here. So, same as the other uh, apartment complex, we have seven beds in this uh, room, these, these second layer rooms. And then 16 beds on the top. So, that's another 30 beds for this whole village here. And, of course, we do have, you know, the... Uh, the outside portions, the patio portions right here. Um, so, yeah, that brings our total beds in this village to 60. So these two apartment complexes can actually house 60 villagers uh, between the two of them. So that's pretty cool. So we can now support a relatively large village uh, with the villagers that can go in and out of these apartment buildings freely. So that is absolutely awesome. Uh, yeah, you can see the villagers out here. They're currently at work. Uh, and what I think we're going to do today, I think I want to make a little plaza here in between the two apartment buildings and potentially put a bell here so that when the sun gets to about this point here in the sky, where my cursor is right now, at that point the uh, villagers will have sort of a meeting in the center at the bell. I think that would be really cool. Um, so I'll probably move a lot of these uh, workstations around the area a little bit uh, just so we have some area to work here and make this plaza area happen because I think it'd be cool if, you know, during dusk, if they all sort of gathered here collectively and like talked with each other and then went into the apartment buildings at night. I think that would be cool. So yeah, anyways, I think that should be pretty cool having a little plaza here where villagers can sort of congregate before they actually go into the apartments to sleep. So let's go ahead and get on with this. I'm going to have to move some of these workstations. So let's go ahead and do that right now and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is what I have for the plaza so far. You can see we got some polished andesite down. We got some bricks down. These are brick stairs, uh, which I've sort of manipulated so that they, you know, sort of curve around and connect up. So you just, you know, have brick stairs like this, and then you sort of turn yourself as you place the stairs, and you get this nice little gap in here, which I think adds a little bit of depth to it and adds a little bit of a, a flair to the plaza, which it otherwise wouldn't have. And you'll see we have a couple of areas still missing stuff. So we have some area here on the sort of corner blocks here. And we also have this central area here missing. And I'm thinking we might want to go with some expensive blocks there. Like maybe we could put some diamond blocks here. Like diamond block pillars could be kind of cool here. Uh, and then maybe we put diamond blocks in the center. Maybe a beacon in the center. And then perhaps like a bell on top of the beacon. That could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. Maybe we could have the beacon turn on when they start to meet. Like, uh, once it gets to, like, dusk. That could be pretty awesome. So, like, when they all come to meet, like, just before the beacon turns on here. That could be pretty cool. That could be pretty cool. So, let me uh, let me do a little bit more here. I also have to connect up this pathway to the, uh, to the plaza here. And also this back pathway here also needs to be connected up. And that should be that. So, give me a sec here. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so we got ourselves a plaza constructed here. It's looking like this. You can see we got the polished andesite, the brick stairs, and, of course, the bling. We got the diamond blocks around here, and we have sort of four diamond pillars surrounding the central uh, meeting area, basically, with the bell here. Uh, and then underneath that, we have a beacon. Uh, I'm going to do something with that here in a minute, but first, I think we need actually a couple more beacons. We need a beacon on top of this pillar, top of that pillar, on top of that pillar, and on top of this pillar. All right, guys, welcome to the shopping district. And yeah, we're looking for some beacons to buy today. I'm going to go over to Iskal's shop, see what he has at his beacon shop. Hopefully he still has stock left. Uh, I know it was pretty low, if I recall. And he's out. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess he was selling them for 20 diamonds each? What? That's crazy. All right, so that beacon shop's out. Is the better beacon shop here? No, Better Beacon Shop is not here. Um, so, let's make our way over to Sahara. See if they are actually selling any beacons. I think they do sell beacons. So let's just make our way right on in here. See what they got. So, 
They got redstone, they got fire. Okay, here we go. Beacon. Ten diamonds each. Can I buy more than one? Can I buy more than one? Or is this all the stock they have? Just one beacon? Seriously? They got one beacon and I need four. And I can't buy... Alright, let's just try it. Let's just try it. We'll try... Ten diamonds. Throw the beacon in. Order received. Okay. Uh, let me get my diamonds out here. Is there an ender chest here? Good. Good. There is an ender chest here. Although I'm not going to walk... 20 blocks to get there. There we go. Alright. Uh, order arrived. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, I'm ready to buy. There we go. Okay, confirm. When light is lit. Very good. Okay. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Come on now. Where the beacon at? Show me the beacon. Show me the beacon. Can I also order another beacon? Apparently not. Apparently we only have one beacon in stock. So we gotta go and get other beacons regardless. Come on, thing! This seriously takes way too long. They gotta, they gotta upgrade their system here. Still waiting. Still waiting. Hey! There we go. And... And... Nothing happened. What? <laughs> what the world? Okay, so Sahara is broken. Okay, well. Um, so that was a little bit disappointing there, guys. But luckily, we're out here at Tango Tech's farm. And we can hopefully see a couple of Wither Skeletons spawn in here. That would be fantastic. There we go, right there. Fantastic. So the way this farm works... Just to remind you guys, in case you haven't seen this, uh, this is actually quite a good uh, early game Wither Skeleton farm and quite easy to build. So you just basically hit these buttons, which opens these fence gates, and then the Wither Skeletons basically follow you to the end, at which point you can just slay away like so. So we need 12 Wither Skeleton skulls. Does not look like we got one there. Um, but, yeah, hopefully we'll get some soon. Anyways, let's continue to use this farm and get ourselves some beacons. Remember how I said I wanted to get 12 Wither Skeleton Skulls? I actually ended up getting 33. So, yeah. We're gonna make 11 beacons here. So we got these items here. All we have to do now, place down the Soul Sand, place down the Wither Skeleton Skulls, and there we go. The Wither now spawns in. We back up to avoid the initial explosion damage. Which should take place any moment now. I'm kind of actually surprised they haven't patched this exploit where the Wither can get trapped in the bedrock. But, I guess they'd have to make it so that the Wither could uh, break bedrock, but... Yeah, I guess they don't want to do that. So anyways, yeah, we just stand here, slay away with our sword. And yeah, then after a few moments, we should end up with a brand new Nether Star. So let's just wait here, maybe get a couple jumps in. Get some critical hits in, there we go. Easy. There we go. Easy money. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and place down our beacons on top of these diamond pillars, and I think... Yeah, this should cap off each diamond pillar quite nicely. Because, you know, before it's just like an abrupt cutoff, but this, it's sort of like... Because it's the beacon inside is sort of the same color as the diamond block, it sort of provides a nice, like, trailing off effect into the, uh, the top of the, the pillar here. So let's just go ahead and place these down. These will also provide a nice uh, light boost to the area, so this will make the whole plaza... Spawn proof, I believe. If I take a look here, F3. Uh, except right here. <laughs> right here is spawn proof, but we need a torch actually on this side, I think. So there we go. And I think this should provide light on this side. All, all good over here. Eight over here. Mobs can't spawn on stairs, so we're good here. And over here is good as well. Okay, yeah, so that should be all we need to make the whole thing spawn proof. So yeah. Let's step back, take a look. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. So it provides a nice cap to these diamond pillars, diamond block pillars. And I've also actually added another functionality to this, to this plaza. So besides looking cool, where are we at right now? Okay, the sun is starting to go down, so we have to sort of hurry here. But I've actually put down another beacon underneath here. This is the beacon that actually activates. 
and the beacon beam goes through the other beacon right here. Uh, and we have a system back here that basically activates whenever the villagers uh, are supposed to go to work and whenever they are done with work. Um, so if we get up here, we should see this activate now. And when the villagers start to congregate around this bell, which they definitely do now, as you can clearly see, um, yeah, that signifies that basically work day is over. And yeah, once they all have a chance to get here, um, they should see the beacon activate, or we should see the beacon activate, indicating that the work day here at Concorp is now over. Um, so let's see if we see that. Looks like all of them have made it, and there we go. Beacon has now activated, and you'll see. Everybody is no longer working, and this beacon indicates the workday is now over. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then, you know, once it indicates that, it should shortly thereafter shut off, because, you know, this signifies workday is over, come to the bell. And they're all pretty much already here. A couple stragglers coming in at the end. <laughs> so we should see this go away. Yep, there it is. Beacon went away. And now, the next time the beacon will activate will actually be to call the villagers out of the apartment building uh, to go to work. So, yeah, we'll just wait here. We'll have the uh, villagers sleep in the apartment building, and then we'll have... We'll see if this thing actually calls them out to go to work. All right, guys, morning time here at Concorp. And, yeah, what we should see here is we should see this beacon become active. Uh, this will basically call the villagers to their work day because, you know, we couldn't like ring the bell or anything to bring them out to work so that sort of scares them that th makes them think there's a raid and they go inside uh, but the beacon the beacon calls them you know to make more diamonds you know that's why this whole thing is made out of diamonds here so uh, it should be any moment now that we see the beacon activate and the villagers should then come out so beacon is active that means the work day is ready to start so let's see if the villagers heed that warning and decide to come on out yep here they come here they come. They saw the beacon, and they decided to all come down to work. Look at them just filing out of the apartment. Very nice. Beautiful. Yep, there they go. Some guys on the far side as well. Very nice. And this guy's going to work over here because his workstation's way over there. Um, but yeah, they're all at work now, so now the beacon shuts down. So there you go, guys. Got a beacon that calls villagers to work and also uh, calls the villagers to congregate around it. Uh, during the evening hours, so I think that's pretty cool and also of course if there is a raid here um, Or we just want the villagers to panic we could come over here and ring the bell ourselves and they can also ring the bell uh, If there is a raid so yeah, that is pretty cool So that is our plaza there ladies and gentlemen pretty happy with it and let's now move on to something else All right, ladies and gentlemen, so with this plaza now complete I'm thinking we go ahead and continue to build some stuff here around Concorp I'm thinking this lake here has been kind of the same for a while now. We do, of course, have the skeleton horse stable underneath here. So all of our skeleton horses hang out down here. We can ride them underwater and such, because that's the thing with skeleton horses. So this guy is, they call me T-Bone, Scar's horse, <laughs> right there. And there's various other members of the Concorp Cavalry down here. Uh, but this area down here, you know, it's underwater. You can't really see it from the surface. So today, I would like to add some boats and stuff on the surface because this is a big area that has basically nothing in it. So I'm thinking I might add a couple of craft to this area, but I definitely want to add something like a speedboat. That would be awesome. So I think we'll add a speedboat today. Maybe I should add a dock around here too that the, the boats could like stay at. Although, hmm, it might be kind of hard to do and like hard to access depending because we need to keep the villagers out although we could just use like f like fence gates and put the dock right here that could be pretty cool yeah I might actually do that like make a dock here and then put like a, a speedboat docked right next to it that could be pretty awesome actually so yeah let me think about this I'll start something here I think I think yeah I think I will do a dock maybe here or maybe maybe out this way it depends it depends but yeah, we will uh, give that a shot. Try and build a speedboat and a dock today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the docks of Concorp. So, we got ourselves a little bit of a dock area now made, and we also have connected this up via the pathways uh, to Concorp. So, if we look in here, you can see we made most of this dock out of spruce wood. So, we got spruce wood uh, slabs, spruce wood stairs. We got some trapdoors here. 
Uh, we got some pressure plates here as well. And we also have spruce fences, so I think that looks pretty nice. We also got these little lamp structures here, which provide lighting to make this whole area here spawn-proof, which is quite nice. Um, so, yeah, the idea with this dock is it's sort of like a smaller dock, because we are at a lake, right? This is not like the ocean or something, so don't need a massive dock, because not a whole lot of big craft can make it in this lake, because uh, there's just a small river that connects this lake to the outside world. Um, so we just made it pretty small, and, you know, if a ship pulled along here, you know, they could... Throw a rope around here and, you know, tie in, basically, uh, to this dock. So that works pretty well. Also, there's one kind of cool thing about this dock. So check this out. If I go right here, open this up, what do we have down here? That's right. We have ourselves the Concorp board meeting room. So, yeah, just so happened that that lined up. So we put a trap door there and we can now easily get down. And, of course, get back up as well if we just run over here. Bubble column shoots us up. And out just like that. So that's a really cool little feature right there. Having that sort of hidden in the middle of the uh, the dock, I think, is a pretty cool thing. And, yeah, I think uh, that's pretty much it for the docks. Next thing we're going to do, I think, instead of the speedboat right off the bat here, we're going to actually build Captain Jack's raft that he likes to just lounge around on. I think he's going to be docked in here because he's currently down at the boardroom. So it makes sense that he'd be docked currently. But uh, we're going to need some campfires to make this raft because you can actually make a really easy... Really cool looking raft with some uh, extinguished campfires. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so at the docks here, we now have the raft of a one Captain Jack Sparrow. You can see we have the official banner of Captain Jack right here flying high, as well as some pirate banners here on both sides. So looking pretty good, looking pretty good. So yeah, the raft itself made up of a bunch of logs crisscrossing, so it's actually pretty strong. We got some uh, side railing here a little bit in terms of the uh, the signs keeping people in so yeah working pretty well and again this thing is not motorized he just sort of floats on it uh, as he does but the number one feature of this raft that captain jack really likes is that you can pretty quickly burn everything to the ground here uh just by simply lighting everything and yeah you can sort of win a uh, a fire victory just simply by uh burning the entire thing so yeah he really likes it he really likes that you can light everything on fire. That's Captain Jack right there. So, yeah, definitely a Captain Jack boat. Definitely a Captain Jack raft. And, yeah, we can just simply get rid of all this stuff here. There we go. Just make sure all this stuff is put out. So there we go. That's Captain Jack's raft right there. <laughs> it's still smoldering a little bit, but uh, I think it looks really cool. So with that raft now constructed... I think it's now time we move to the speedboat, which we'll probably build out in the lake somewhere. Uh, just because it's going to be a little bit of a bigger build and a little bit more detailed. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get on with the build of the speedboat right now. Did somebody say speedboat? I think I did, ladies and gentlemen. I think I did. And take a look. Wow, this looks really, really cool. Coming up to the docks right here slowly. And who would you know... Look who is at the helm. It looks like the Vex have made a return. Let's go in for a closer look here. You'll see we did move Captain Jack's raft. Uh, that was had, had to move that to this location because, you know, the Vex were coming in with the speedboat. They were coming in hot, so <laughs> we had to uh, quickly row this thing over to the other side. Uh, but, yeah, you can take a look at the speedboat profile right here. We got, like, a nice little, like, crease down the center right here which adds a nice little bit of depth there, and you can see it tails off at the end. Got the Concorp logo in here, of course some lights, because, you know, those are required on boats. Uh, then we got the Vex, the Vex sitting down in here with some nice diamond swords. They're back. They also got an elytra on. And, yeah, we have some controls here, some levers, some buttons and such right here, so things are looking nice. Uh, the boat itself is made out of snow blocks and snow layers, so, yeah, super light material floats right over the water and actually ice as well, which is why they went with the uh, the snow. Works well in uh, frozen biomes too. We got some birch wood for the flooring. We got some carpets and some seating back here. Then of course you got your area where you got your engines. And yeah, you can see this boat makes quite a wake as it uh, comes in from the river. So basically they just blast it in here from the river. And now they're just slowing down to dock over here at the Concorp docks. Wait a minute. Where are the diamonds at? There's got to be diamonds nearby. There's got to be gold nearby. There's got to be there's got to be like loot nearby. 
These guys don't just come in here with the speedboat with nothing. Where? Oh! Ho, ho, ho! I see how it is. Yep. Yep. That's what I thought. Yep. Diamond blocks, gold blocks, all nice and neatly organized, perfectly in the cargo bay. And yeah, pretty cool that we can actually come down inside the cargo bay and like move around a little bit and shift around and bounce around in here. So yeah, yep, definitely the Vex, definitely the Vex with all the diamonds coming in fresh from the stores. So yeah, these this is like one day worth of uh, profits from Concorp. So absolutely fantastic. Let's get back up to the surface and look at that. That's nice and hidden. Good job, Vex. Good job. So that is our speedboat there, ladies and gentlemen. Makes a pretty cool addition to the area let's get up here and take a look from above oh my god look at that man that power though Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! that looks sweet that is looking sweet i really like that wow the wake of it makes it look awesome too makes it look like it's kind of like turning here a little bit yeah that's sweet as heck okay so there is our speedboat there's the raft over there. We got a couple other little boats here, and I think the docks are done now. Uh, I would like to maybe in the future add in a few other boats over here, like maybe like a uh, sailboat or a catamaran or like a merchant vessel of some type, because uh, there is there is a little bit of room. We do have, you know, the speedboat barely missed the top of the uh, <laughs> the stables here. They can just barely dock here at, uh, at Concorp, but there is enough room. There is enough room. They did the calculations. They did the measurements, and... Yeah, this is looking sweet. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, speedboat now complete, and they're coming in to dock over there. Looks super awesome, and yeah, like I said, I think we might add in some more boats and things. Uh, just maybe one or two more uh, farther on in the lake, and maybe in the river over there. That could be quite cool, but yeah, for now, guys, I am digging it, and hopefully you guys are as well. And I'm also digging this plaza over here, so until next time, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed, and be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.